In this video, I'll show you how to do this diamond ore. I will also show you how to make this ocelot and this baby pig. I had three separate requests from you guys to make these Minecraft charms. And I want to give a shout out to Polymer McClay Productions TV, The Randoms Channel, and Black Diamond. If you guys are watching, I hope you guys liked how these turned out. And let's go ahead and start. Let's start with the diamond ore. So grab a gray ball of polymer clay and you can also use granite clay or some silver clay. To make the blocks with the polymer clay, I squeeze two fingers on one end and then I'll squeeze the other two on the other side. And then I'll just switch it over and squeeze on the opposite sides. You can also use the flat surface and squish it that way. Don't worry about any light or fingerprints, we're going to get rid of that after we bake the polymer clay. To secure my eye pin, I will put a little bit of this TLS. Put a little bit at the end of your eye pin and then press it in the middle of your little cube. And now it's ready to be baked. Now let's start with our baby pig and grab a big pink polymer clay bead and squish it into a block. Grab a smaller bead of pink polymer clay and make it into a small rectangle. Place it on the lower side of the square and squish it in. But make sure you keep the rectangle shape. Make a small flat rectangle. And place it on the bottom half of the square. This is going to be the snout. You can also use a flat tool to straighten any edges that are too rounded. Place your little baby pig upside down and make four little polymer clay beads. I will roll them a little bit in between my fingers to make them a little longer and then I will press them on. Put some TLS on an eye pin and place it either on top of his head or in the back of his body. And now he's ready to be baked. Let's start with the ocelot. Make a chubby rectangle. Then grab four small yellow beads, roll out each one and place it on each corner of the rectangle and squish it down. Now that we have the lower body, let's make the tail. Grab a yellow polymer clay bead and a small brown polymer clay bead. Roll the tail out a little bit. And the tail on the ocelot is really long, but I didn't want to make it too long because I'm afraid it's just going to break off. And then grab the small brown polymer clay bead and place it at the top. And then roll it out a little bit. And for this ocelot, I will make the tail pointing down by pressing it against the other side of the polymer clay. You can make it point straight, but I didn't want to do it because I'm scared it's going to break off as well. <laughs> make a chubby square and place it on the top of the rectangle and squish it down. Make a small light brown rectangle and place it on the bottom half of the square and press it down. For the ears, I grab this light orange polymer clay bead, shape it into a little block, and place it at the back of the square and flatten it down so it sticks better, but make sure it stays as a square, so shape it. Then add your second one. Finish it off by placing an eye pin in the middle of his back. And now it's ready to be baked. For the diamond door, I will use three different square rhinestones. If you're wondering where I got my square rhinestones, I actually bought them a while back on Amazon and they came in these little sets. To glue the rhinestones, I will use some of this epoxy glue and this nail daughter. If you don't have epoxy glue, go ahead and use whatever you have that you know will stick stuff together. Dab a little bit of the glue onto your polymer clay and with the other side of your daughter, Dip it into a little bit of the TLS so it's easier to pick up. Grab your rhinestone and place it. And add more glue and make an L shape. Grab a different color rhinestone, set it down. Continue putting random little blocks. Once you have one side, let it completely dry. Flip it over and do the other side. This is how this side turned out. And continue doing this for all the sides. And if you're a little confused on how, what shapes to create with the little squares, look at a diamond ore for reference. Once everything's dry, put some rubbing alcohol on a cotton pad and wipe the surface of the rhinestones to remove any of the TLS residue. 
grab some white acrylic paint and make a line for the eyes and do the other side and then grab some brown acrylic paint and make two lines for the nose do one side and then do the other then grab some black acrylic paint and make a little box inside of the white or you can use a smaller brush to fill it in grab some hot pink and make two straight lines on each side of the head if your coats are too transparent let it dry in between and add another coat for the feet grab some brown paint and make two little lines on each foot and only do it in the front because the other ones are most likely going to be covered. And now let the paint completely dry. Grab some white acrylic paint and make a rectangle. Grab some dark orange and make a little square for the nose. With some green paint, make little squares inside of the white. With some light orange, paint the bottom of the feet. And then with some light brown and some dark brown, make some random squares all over the body. I ended up doing three different shades of brown and I ended up doing patches all over. Let the acrylic paint completely dry. Once the charms are all dry, grab some gloss glaze and a small brush and glaze them all over. And for this diamond ore, just try to not glaze the actual rhinestones. For the baby pig and the ocelot, you can do it all over. This is how the diamond ore turned out. And because of the rhinestones, it really does add that really nice shiny effect to it. And here's how my little baby pig turned out. Let me do a 360 kind of. And this is how the ocelot turned out. And I spotted it all the way around on his legs, everywhere. The only downside to the baby pig and the ocelot is that they don't sit straight up. Their heads go down because their heads are pretty big. So if you want them to stay leveled, I would probably say make this head smaller, but that's really up to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you guys try it out, I wish you the best. I love you for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.